Hey guys, this is Tony. So in this video, let's talk about how to connect emails to Bastion. Now, a lot of people, um, when they started out, they just use their own email account um, to connect, but you don't really want to do that. So there are a couple of things that we need to know. First, there's the SMTP server, and then there's the IMAP. So SMTP is the one that sends out email. IMAP is the one that receives the email. And what you want to do is you want to separate them out because a lot of time uh, the email address account that you have, say, you know, the one that comes with a uh, web server or even Gmail, actually, that they restrict you uh, to certain amount of emails that you can send out um, within each hour, each day, whatnot. So what you want to do is you want to go find a SMTP server uh, that is separate from the email account that you normally use and you can use your normal email account um, for, for IMAP for receiving emails. So the one that I use is mailgun.com. Uh, there are people that they use uh, Gmail accounts. So they basically create multiple Gmail accounts and then they use that to send it out, which is separate from their own email account. Um, you know, Gmail account, Outlook, whatnot. Uh, to receive their the, the email that's coming in. So this is the setup um, that you wanna wanna do, and as you can see down here, um, you know Mailgun, it's gonna send out to the prospect, and then when they reply, I'm gonna have my email account to receive uh, that that email response. And another thing is custom domain setup in Bastream, um, which we'll, we'll get into in a little bit. So let's take a look at what it looks like in Bastream when you're trying to set up an email account. So you basically just, you know, add email account and then let me show you what it looks like. So here's what it looks like. Um, ideally, you should have, you know, unsubscribe text and whatnot, which um, you, you can just watch Bastrom University videos. I'm not going to get into that. Um, what I'm focusing on here is really how to scale the outreach. So as you can see, you know, here I actually use WPX hosting. Um, they are really good. Uh, my website is low really fast, which I'll explain um, in, in, the, in separate video when we talk about site speed. So, you know, essentially you set this up. This is the one that's uh, receiving. Okay. And then, oh, sorry. And then for sending out, I have the mail gun uh, set up for that. So let's talk about how to set up Mailgun. Um, the reason I like Mailgun is that, uh, as you can see, it tracks how many it's been delivered, how many um, that didn't get through, um, so I can track them easily. And, you know, to set up, it's very easy. So basically you just need to go to your domain name server, um, in which case I use GoDaddy. Um, you can just go to your, your domain name server where you're hosting your domain and just start adding this. Um, you need to add the text and you know change the host name and enter the value so let me just show you one um, how you do it so you just go here and select on text basically and then type in uh, copy and paste the host name copy and paste the text value and that's that very easy and as you can see i have already set it up um, right here for mailgun and then you just repeat the same for mx record and the last one c name is a little bit um tricky in a, in a way that um, if you look at the way it's set up, you know, for your main domain, uh, the C name, you know, it's add, which is basically um, the the root of the domain. So what you want to do is, in this instance, um, I call it email. Okay, so that is the subdomain that I'm going to use. So I have to set up this one right here okay in C name and as you can see you know MG I have to set it up under A so that um, and then point that to Mailgun's IP address and by having that I'm able to set up this C name with email.mg so that's what you need to do you basically need to set up this A name 
And when I say it's tricky, that, that is the reason because it doesn't tell you to do that here. And so you have to figure that out. So once you set that up, um, the rest is easy. You just have to basically go set up uh, email. So manage. Okay, you just need to create a new login um, and whatnot so that you, you will be able to create a new email address and that's the email address you're going to use to basically send out. So use that email address to connect with Bastream like I showed you earlier. Okay, another thing to point out is Bastream email tracking. So uh, when people, when prospects send back email to you, sometimes they use a different email address than the one that you sent it to them. So, you know, to keep that tracking, that's one, one of the reasons that you want to um, basically BCC by adding this email address uh, in, when, when you receive the email. So let me show you over here. When you receive email, okay, so you, you're going to show, you're going to see the emails that comes back from prospect. What you want to do is you want to send it out um, when you respond to your prospect. Again, you want to BCC this email address here so that uh, it, it will track, basically the bathroom will track that conversation. Um, and then, like I said, sometimes, you know, when you send out email, say abc at gmail.com, they use a completely different email to respond to you sometimes. And so, you know, in order to track that, this is why um, this stream email tracking is useful for that. And another thing we want to talk about is the custom domain setup. So here is the reason why you want to do that, okay? Um, I, I will add this um, link in the video note so that you can come here and take a look exactly see why, why it's, it's a good idea to do that. Uh, because when you send out email, there, of course, you include links in the email. And when prospects mouse over it, they can see the email, you know, as you can see the browser when I mouse over this one, uh, I, can, I can see the URL of where that link goes to. And if you use the default bar stream, uh, tracking, then it's going to show up as bar stream, blah, 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 which is not nice. But if you use your own tracking, it's going to show up as you know, the link goes to your own domain. And so that looks much better. Essentially, that's one of the reason. And of course, um, if you use Bastream default, they, they have a, a shared domains, which, you know, the reputation is depends on the Bastream rather than your own domain. So that's another reason. And that, that's listed here. So you can take a look at um, those texts to find out exactly why uh, we want to set out this custom domain setup. Okay, so again, you know, the, the most key point here is SMTP server because, um, for example, Mailgun um, allows you to send a lot more uh, emails per hour, per day, uh, compared to your default email account, the one that I have that comes with a uh, web server. You can only send out probably um, two to 300 a day, whereas with Mailgun, you can send out thousands a day. So, you know, that, that's really the reason, you know, how we're going to make, how we're going to make it scalable by uh, using a, a separate SMTV server. So that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video.